Lasse, first, can you give us a short pitch about Loudspring? Well, thank you. Loudspring is an investment company focused on saving natural resources. We are active in, uh, we have 10 holdings in total, and five of those we count as our core holdings. We, our companies are mostly about saving, saving energy and other natural resources, and we've been doing this consistently for uh, over over 10 years with this company. Q1 is now behind us. We're a bit into Q2. How would you like to summarize the start of the year? Well, of course, it's very two-folded as for any company. The year started uh, with, a, we were expecting a, a, a year of good growth. Uh, all of our core holdings are in good speed after last year and uh, they have continued on that path. Uh, during the first quarter, and then of course the, when this pandemic started, it, it changed a lot of uh, practicalities uh, in the firms, and 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 uh, that is still a little bit uh, fuzzy the the how things will uh, when they will become to normal. And I have to go a little bit deeper into that uh, Corona situation. How how affected are your portfolio companies? Well, that that is a really good question because it has also like surprised us that. Some are more affected, some have even benefited from it. And, and if I just quickly go through our core holdings, uh, Rescue Club, which is the uh, app, mobile app uh, for saving or rescuing restaurant food. Of course, they were affected when the restaurants were closed, but uh, they were not at all as badly affected as the restaurant sector because they only do takeout. And most of the restaurants were open for takeout. So, there was a slowdown in growth, but uh, all in all, they're doing really well. Then um, Nuka Solutions, our company that is present here in Stockholm heavily, they have actually continued to grow. They do this um, data platform for real estate. And uh, it's often said that uh, crisis in crisis, the existing trends in the society accelerate. And that's one where we've seen in the real estate sector, there's a heightened interest for digitalizing buildings and Nuka has continued to grow during this period. Then uh, <clears throat> Sophie Filtration, our company that does water filtration, they have maybe taken a bigger slowdown in the sales because it's impossible to have meetings around the world to sales. And then finally, our fourth uh, most important core holding Eagle Filters, that does industrial, uh, does uh, air intake filters for gas turbines. That business has been affected uh, with the slowdown, but then this amazing, huge business opportunity opened to them when they have uh, started manufacturing respirators for healthcare sectors because they have 25 years of experience on the uh, filtration technology. So, so that is actually expected to grow a lot from last year. Can you tell me a little bit more about this uh, Eagle filter respirators? Yes, so Eagle filters normally and for, for years and years has made these um, filters for gas turbines. And when you think of filtration, it's interesting that every filter, almost any filter does the same thing. You are aiming to capture the required amount of particles and you're aiming to have as little pressure loss as possible for the uh, gas flow. So Eagle is very good at this and the, the government in Finland uh, reached out to Eagle if they could help with this acute situation. And uh, we have now built a production chain, a chain and a production line and our mass manufacturing is going to start in a couple of weeks. Prototypes have been made and tested and uh, we have gotten excellent results from our tests and uh, we, our initial capacity is going to be 900,000 uh, respirators per month, 30,000 per day. And we are already thinking of uh, increasing capacity significantly. And uh, I, I want to say one thing that th this is really not geared for this acute pandemic situation. A lot has changed in the world in, in the sense that it seems that the big governmental buyers don't want to be reliant on, on let's say, Chinese or those kind of supplies, they want to have uh, suppliers in Europe and high quality uh, product, we believe will have a long term business opportunity when, when the world learns to live with this uh, virus. 
And if we then look at your financial situation, are you satisfied with, with the, that right now? Well, we, we have publicized the plan uh, uh, in, as we, when we put out our financials that we're going to raise a few millions this year. We have raised um, some of that. We are following the plan. So in that sense, we are, we are in, in the plan. And finally, what is your main focus for the rest of the, of the year? Well, for the rest of the year, uh, like I said, we have these five or four core portfolio companies. Our focus is on supporting those. And, and there's a lot of interest around uh, Nuka and Eagle, our digital companies. And we're going to uh, see what happens with those. But I think, frankly, that when it comes to our core team, we are going to be very busy building up this Eagle Filters respirator business. We have gotten inquiries from serious buyers in Sweden and the UK and almost around the world. And uh, that takes a lot of our bandwidth. But it can also elevate Eagle to a totally different level uh, revenue-wise from what it has been. Thank you very much, Lassie. Thank you.